Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cute beaded daisies. So to make a daisy you will need some size 11 seed beads in white, some size 11 seed beads in yellow, and size 11 seed beads in green, or you can change up the colours like I did in this one. You'll also need your beading thread and your beading needle. Let's get started. So begin by threading your needle and picking up six of your yellow seed beads and slide those down and leave a few inches for your tail thread to sew back in at the end. And then you're going to sew up through the first bead. So you have this little circle. Now you're going to be putting a white bead in between all of the yellow beads. So pick up your first white bead and go straight into the next bead in the circle. And again pick up another white bead and go into that next yellow bead in the circle. And again pick up a white bead straight into the next yellow bead. And you're going to do that all the way around. So when you get to the last one, you're going to go through the next yellow bead in the circle and also through that first white bead that we added. So now you should have this. This time we're going to be putting two white beads in between each of those that we added in the last row. So you pick up two of your white beads, you're coming out of this one you're going to go into the next white bead. Same again, pick up two more white beads, go into the next white one in the circle. And again, pick up two more, go into the next white bead. And do that all the way around. And with this one, you don't want to keep your tension too tight or it will crinkle up. So keep your tension kind of um, loose, not too tight. And do that all the way around. When you get to the last one, coming out of this one, you're going to go into that last white bead and up into the one above. Now you should have this. This time you're going to pick up three white beads and you're coming out of this one, you're going to go straight down into that one right next to it. Three beads should sit like that. Then you're going to pick up one of your green beads and you're coming out of this one here, skip that white one underneath and go through the next one that's on the top row. Then you're going to pick up three more um, white beads straight into the one next to the one you're coming out of. And then pick up a green and again you're coming out of this one Ignore that white one underneath, go through the next white one which is on the top row. And then do the same again, pick up three white beads, go straight into the next bead right next to you. Then pick up a green bead, coming out of this one on the top row, go into the next one on the top row. Pick up three white beads, go straight down into the one next to the one that you're coming out of. Pick up your green bead, coming out of this one, straight into that one next to it. Pick up 
three more white beads go down into the one that's next pick up your green bead coming out of this one ignore that one underneath and go through the next one on the top and now pick up your last three white beads for this row straight down into that one next to it pick up your last green bead and again you're coming out of this one you're going to go up into this one as always but you're also going to step up into that bead above so you're ready to add more beads now we have this so this time we're going to pick up five white beads so you pick up five white beads and you're coming out of this one this side you're going to ignore that one it's like sticking up on the top and you're going to go down into this one so you're doing a loop over that one on the top like that now you're going to move your needle through the green bead and up through the white bead that's on the top of the next row if that makes sense let me show you so you're going to go through the green one and that white one like that and then you're ready to add five white beads so pick up five more white beads Again, you're coming out the one on this side, you're going to skip that one on the top and go into the one down through the one on the other side. Then through the green bead again and the next white one on the top like that. Then you're ready to pick up five more beads and ignore that one on the top again and go down into the one on the other side. So you're coming out of this one, you're going into this one. Then you're going to go through the green bead again. So you've gone through the green bead and you're going to go through the white bead on the top, not that one next to the green bead, you're going through the one above it. Then you're ready to pick up five beads again. Coming out of this side, you're going to go down through the bead opposite it. Through the green one and the white one on the top and pick up five more beads go down into the one opposite the one you're coming out of through the green bead ignore that white bead next to it and go up through the one above And this is our last petal, so we're going to pick up our last five white beads. Go down into that one, opposite the one we're coming out of. Give it a good pull tight. And now we have this. So now it's entirely up to you now whether you finish it there and add a jump ring or earring finding or whatever you want to do with it or I'm going to show you how to 
fill in the middle as well. I quite like it like this with the open hole in the middle. I'm going to show you how to do this if you want to fill the middle in. So to do that we need to move our thread so that it's exiting out of one of these yellow beads in the middle. So I'm coming out of here I'm just going to move it around until I'm coming out of one of those yellow beads. Okay, and then once you've done that, you're gonna pick up a yellow. Coming out of this yellow, skip the next one in the circle and go through the one after that. Okay, do the same again, pick up a yellow. This time we're coming out of this one, we're going to skip the next one in the circle, go through the one after that. And you're going to do that one more time. Pick up a yellow, coming out of this one, skip that one, go through the one after. Now we have this, now you're going to step up into that first extra yellow bead that we added. And then you're going to sew through all three of those that we just added. Sew through them to bring them together and then pull it tight and that's how you fill in the middle. So now I'm going to go ahead and tie my strings off. At this point if you wanted to you could add um, a jump ring, these would make really nice earrings I might attach all of mine together, make a bracelet or a choker. I haven't quite decided yet, so I'm going to tie my strings off. So I'm just going to show you how I do that quickly. So we're exiting out of one of these on the top. We're going to go through the yellow bead next to it, making sure our needle comes out the back of the piece, not the front. Turn it over. So we're now on the back of the piece so it's easier to tie knots without it being seen. So I'm going to move my thread so that it's coming out of one of these beads at the base of a petal. So I'm coming out of this one here. So I'm going to take my needle under that little bridge of thread between those two beads. Pull that down until it makes a small loop and then I'm going to go through the loop two times. Oops. Pull it down until you can feel the knot tighten and then move my thread along and I'll move my thread to the next petal and tie a knot on each petal if I've got enough thread left just so that it's really secure and then always before you cut your thread make sure you move your needle away from your knot so that it doesn't unravel and do the same with your tail thread okay so that's our finished daisy and this is what it looks like all finished with the strings all tied off so as I said, I think these would make really nice earrings or um, a bracelet, maybe, daisy chain, or even a necklace pendant. Um, so let me know if you make one and what colours you use. This is one I did with some different colours, but I actually like the daisy the best. But I might also try um, in the colours of sunflower as well. I haven't tried that yet. But let me know if you make one and share any pictures with me on Instagram at Beading by Hannah. Follow me over there to take part in any polls that I do um, to decide what video I film next. And comment down below anything else you'd like to see and like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more of my videos. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.